Fresno Pacific taking on conference rival Azusa Pacific, looking to complete a four-game sweep after taking two games from the Cougars on the road. AP would jump out to an early lead on a two-run homer by Daniel Gonzalez, but Brett Bishop answers in the bottom half with an opposite field blast to make the score 2-1. to one. J.D. Sales on the mound for the Sunbirds, and he was dialed in. In the top of the fourth, he would record not one, not two, but three strikeouts to retire the Cougars in order. He would finish with seven Ks on the day. Bottom six now, and after Devin Lee singles, Steven Lozier drives one through the right side to put the go-ahead run on base. John Kortoff steps in, and third baseman Brendan Casey can't handle the grounder as FPU loads the bases. The Sunbirds would tie it up on a sack fly by Kahua Gaspar, as Lee slides home after tagging up from third. Two outs now, and Kyle Copham delivers the big hit to left, scoring Lozier and giving the Sunbirds the 3-2 lead. Cougars threatening in the eighth, but it's Josh Medellis making a rare appearance out of the bullpen to get Gonzalez looking as the Sunbirds get out of the jam. Last chance for the Cougars now, and with the tying run on, pinch hitter Dusty Sanderson drives one to right, but Devin Lee lays out for it, and that is the game. Wilson Ashford getting the start for the Sunbirds in Game 2, and once again the Cougars claw their way onto the board in the first inning. A double by Casey puts the Cougars ahead 1-0 and are still threatening in the top of the first, but Bobby Mendoza ends the threat with the diving stop, the tag, and the throw to first for the double play. APU gets another run in the second with this single up the middle by Mitch Durgazarian. With the Cougars up 2-0, head coach Paul Sfagdis lights a fire in his team as the Sunbirds waste a prime opportunity with the bases loaded as Michael Finnegan gets Gaspar to pop up to shortstop to end the threat. In the final frame, Matt Fox gives the Sunbirds a single to put the tying run on base, but the Cougars seal the win with a strikeout of Bobby Mendoza to split the series on the day and move the Sunbirds to 11-6 overall and 6-2 and in the Pac West. Yeah, you know, we just got to keep fighting. You know, you're going to get down sometimes and you got to be able to fight back, and so we've been doing that. But you know, that's I feel like our team is starting to to gain some more offensive identity, um, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, JD made a mistake uh, to a kid early, gave up the two-run home run. But he was really good from that point on. And he he's going to be frustrated with that outing, but he he battled and and you know competed, and that's what we need from him, and that's what he gave us. Yeah, that one I got a good read on it, and it's coming in hard, and I just I felt like I could lay it out and catch it, and. Sure enough, went in the glove, got my eyes closed on it, so it's all right. <laughs> Finnegan did a really, really good job uh, today, and he's tough. You know, he was all conference last year. He might have been all American, and I know he's he's been battling some injuries, and uh, but that looked like uh, the Finnegan from last year. And he, what he is, he pounds his own and mixes it up and cuts it here and runs it inside uh, to lefty some too, and and he did a really good job of mixing it up and not getting himself in trouble and. When you're facing a guy like that who's on, um, you know, you just can't miss opportunities, and that's what happened. You know, we missed a couple opportunities, like you, you brought up the bases loaded, and we had a first and second, nobody out earlier in the game, and, and uh, you know, those are the types of moments where you've got to come up with at least one, and if we come up with at least one on the minimum in those, in those situations, now the game's tied. And, I thought I thought we put some good at bats together. We just couldn't find any holes or couldn't find any anything to drop. So, you know, sometimes that gets to you. You know, I expect great things from these guys, and I always have. Um, you know, with so many new guys, it's it was to me just a matter of time before we gelled. And and uh, you know, the the learning process of what a, a college baseball season looks like. You know, there's ups and downs, and you know, we're what are we 17 games in and. We already feel like we've lived five lives and uh, there's a lot more ups and downs coming.